Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. In this tutorial, I will be discussing some techniques to replace colour in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get straight into it. Here we have an image of a human eye. At the moment, it's nice and green. But what if, for example, I wanted to change the green of the eye to a red colour? In Photoshop, there are a number of ways. For example, I could press Command U and this will pull up our hue saturation panel and I could simply toggle the hue value here let's push that far to the to the left here okay and what we can see we've got our desired effect of the eye changing to red but what we've noticed is that it has affected the whole image and the pink of the skin has now turned to blue we don't want that so I'm going to undo this to get around that, we could come over to our menu and select the lasso tool here. And I'm just going and we can draw a selection around here. Just going to do this a little bit crudely, just for the example of the tutorial here. And again, when when we have our selection, we could press Command U. And this time when we toggle the hue levels, we can notice that it'll only change what is in that selection. That's pretty nifty. I'm just going to deselect and, and do that. Now, the focus of this tutorial is going to be the Replace Color tool. I find this one the easiest of the lot. So let's go ahead and use this tool. So I'm going to come up to Image and scroll down to Adjustments and come across and come down to Replace Color. And when we do that, we will pull up a tool window. And the first thing you will notice when we have this replace color window open, our mouse cursor will change to a eye drop. Now this is Photoshop asking you which color you would like to focus on. So let's go ahead and click somewhere in the eye there and once you do that you will notice that back in our replace color window you'll see in the black box you will see some white. Now this represents the color range that we have just selected. So if we come down to the hue toggle and pull this to the far left, we will see that only part of the green eye has changed. Now this is because the eye consists of lots of shades of green. It's at this point we need to come back to our replace colour window and look at the colour picker icons on the top. Now by default, when you first open this window, you will have the single colour picker. Now, if we look in the middle icon here, we have a color picker or eye droplet icon with a plus. So if we click that, this is going to enable us to select more colors. So let's go ahead and click another color in the eye. And there you go, you'll see that now we've changed more. And if we continue to click and keep clicking and choosing various shades, we will notice that soon, we will have all the colors and the entire eye will have changed color. If we come over to the hue, now we can toggle it from left to right and we could choose any color we like. And we could even touch on the saturation, pull that down and it's looking gray, but we don't want that, we want it red. So I'm just going to push that back up and click okay. So there we have it. The green eye has turned to red. Let's take a look at another image. Here I have another example. This time the image is a little more color complex. So let's see how the tool works here. Let's go to image, adjustments, come down to replace color. And again, I'm going to select the middle eyedropper. And this time I'm just going to select all the green area of the leaves. And this time I'm just going to change the hue saturation. So let's pull that far to the far left and select all the green areas. That's looking pretty cool. Click OK. So if I come to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color again. This time I'm going to select the pink of the roses. Let's change that to a... Let's go for a blue color this time. Let's, let's find a blue color. looking good, select them all. 
Okay, and let's change the yellow. Change the hue of that. So let's go for green. So in a few seconds, we've made a drastic change to that image using the Color Replace tool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. So have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.